is Eva Heard. welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Last episode we made our way from Lavender Town all the way over to Celadon City and even got Charlotte and Kobe evolved from being a, oh hi Pikachu, intrigued by our hat, thank you so much, uh, from being an Ivysaur to a Venusaur and from being a Mankey to being a Primeape. So that is super duper exciting. Both of those I think are their final evolution. So now we're in Celadon City. I did miss out on a trainer battle because I just want to get over here some of our Pokemon were taken out. But now that we've done that, I just sort of want to take on that one trainer we missed out on and explore a little bit more, just in case there is any more. And yeah, a small path between towns. See, <laughs> Route 7 is nice, right? Okay, are you ready? Let's battle. Now let's play an ensemble called a battle. Let's do it. So this guy should give us a team if we defeat him, which is really exciting if we want to give anything to Lily. All right, Coach Trainer Alpesh. Interesting name, I like it. So now Farfetch'd, dude, this is new for us. Now ground, is, it, is ground good against flying? I have no clue. Guess we're gonna find out. Is Farfetch like the flying grass or something or is it just flying? That's not what I meant to do. Okay, we're just doing pound this time then. Pound it is. Pound doesn't do too much damage. Facade. Ooh, ooh, that looked like it hurt. Just hit us with his little uh, celery stick. Let's dig. <laughs> Farfetch is one of the weirdest Pokemon. It, it's just so weird. Like, why are they holding a, a celery? Why is her name Farfetched? Okay, let's try dig. Oh, I guess it didn't really do much. Okay, um, we're just gonna keep going with normal type moves then. We're just gonna do swift. It should do enough damage to make some progress. We have six level advantage, so like we should be fine. Oh, I would've dodged something there, that's good. Fight, and swift. This might be enough to take him out if we get lucky. Not quite, okay, we'll just do a pound. This out again, which is really just, I guess, distracting us with like friendly dancing and then just smacking us with a celery stick. There we go. Ooh, and that's enough to faint. Very cool, so we got rid of Farfetch'd. 382 experience, and then what other Pokemon do you have? Wigglytuff. I might as well switch. I, I don't think we have anything that's particularly good against Wigglytuff, so I'm just gonna use Eve and do like uh, Zippy Zap over and over again, just get those critical hits in. I mean, we could try some of Charlotte's new move, but we can do that later as well. Hi! <laughs> Coach Trainer Alpesh sent out Wigglytuff. Awesome stuff. And uh, Zippy Zap it is. Come on now, it'll be a critical hit as well, which will be pretty good. But it's not enough for a takedown, unfortunately. Critical hit, you're gonna sing. Oh gosh, don't put Pikachu to sleep. Don't do it, Eve, wake up. Ow. Oh. oh wow. <laughs> Eve shook itself awake. Oh really? Oh, that's so wonderful. I love you. All right, Thunder, let's try Thunder. We haven't really done Thunder too much, if ever. Whoa. Whoa, that is so cool. That was definitely pretty good, like pretty damaging, pretty good indeed. I like it. 455 experience for that one. And we defeated Coach Trainer Alpesh. It was a great session. $3,000 for winning, but no Pokeballs? Oh, come on. Oh, well. Thank you for the best battle. Here, take a token of my gratitude. Got TM, TM12, Facade. TM12 has a move Facade. It's a spunky move that deals double damage if the Pokemon using it has a status condition. Huh. Weird. I like the idea, but still very weird. Is there a Pokeball behind here or something? It's a little hard to tell. There's a, I don't know who we ran into, but it looks like we're catching Eradicate. All right, fine. Who are you trying to munch on? Boom, excellent throw. That was beautiful. Can we get a first, first little throw, get to catch? You bet. That might be some good experience then, let's hope. We caught Eradicate. Okay, I didn't see how much. 611 experience is gonna be level 31 for Tonka, level 33 for Charlotte. We might actually be able to get Fred to Fred and Tonka to their, their uh, evolutions this episode. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, some good stuff going on. But for right now, let's actually explore more of Celadon City if we're good here. I don't know why there's like a lone Pidgey just flying around. A Poke Flute awakens sleeping Pokemon. It does so with a, with a sound that only they can hear. Oh, so we could actually use that and have to, or not have to worry about awakenings anymore. That'd be good. Oh no, it's another one of these. <laughs> I am Madame, C Madame Celadon. I am the one who can look into your future and see the encounters that are to come. Shall I foresee the nature of those fateful allies you have yet to meet? I'll charge you just $10,000. Wouldn't you like to know your fate? 
No, I mean, I don't need to know it. I'm already trying to prepare myself. <laughs> if fate leads you back here, let us meet again. Let me know if I should do that, if it's worth it or not. If I had a Pokemon, I would go to Pokemon Road too. All right, well, we'll do that sooner or later. Let's also make sure we read the flyer. There's a magazine called Pokemon Best Spots. Will you read it? Yeah. The amazing spot we're introducing this time is Pokemon Road. It's the sloping road that connects Celadon City and the Fuchsia City. During the weekend, many trainers walk around with their Pokemon on Pokemon Road. Sometimes Pokemon that become friends there become matchmakers for their trainers or not. <laughs> Interesting. Anything over here? Oh, there's, yeah, definitely. Oh, one of those people teaches our Pokemon moves over there. He taught a Zippy Zap before. Psst, the woman with the Abra at the corner over there. Rumor has it that she's an amazing fortune teller. Okay, but she's very expensive as well. I've come here to collect a lot of Cantonian Sandshrew. If you have a Sandshrew, please trade it for my Sandshrew. Yeah, okay. So this is gonna be another Alolan. Okay, cool. We'll go ahead and trade the level five. All for hours of trade. Trade Pokemon, this is super exciting. Are you giving me that Pokemon? All right, deal. Very cool. So we get ourselves another uh, Alolan trade. Sending a Sandshrew to, I don't know what his name was, I didn't see that. Ooh, and we're gonna get an Alolan, how cool is that? It's like Sandshrew, but like a little bluish for whatever reason. Very awesome. Yeah, you send, oh, I love the ears there. Two logs, really cool. I like it. Okay, so there we have it, the Alolan Sandshrew. We'll try to evolve all the Alolan stuff at some point. Thanks for the great trade. Alolan and Sandshrew are ice type, unlike Sandshrew and Cantu, really? That's actually really cool, I like it. Okay, let's talk to you. Oh, it seems like you've been having quite a marvelous adventure. That means I should increase the moves I can teach your Pokemon. So, hey, you. Do you want me to teach a marvelous move to Pikachu? Yes. Floaty Fall. He wants to learn the move Floaty Fall. Should no one move for, well, what is Floaty Fall? Flying. The user floats in the air and then dives at a steep angle to attack the, the target. This may also make the target flinch. I feel like that would be actually a pretty cool move to learn. I don't think we need double kick anymore. The target is quickly kicked twice in, or quickly, yeah, okay. Because we already have a fighting type move. I mean, we have a fighting type Pokemon, you know? I think we can make that trade. One, two, and ta-da! He forgot double kick, and it learned Floaty Fall instead. Build a marvelous relationship with your Pokemon, okay? I would love to. Hey you, do you want me to teach a marvelous move to Pikachu? Oh, it doesn't seem to be necessary for your Pikachu to learn a move for now. All right, well very cool we were able to uh, talk to everybody in here. It seemed to be well worth it as well. We got ourselves a floaty fall for Pikachu. I like it. Uh, and we can talk to you. What do you think you're doing running around here? We're Team Rocket, don't you know? Uh, we're, we're gonna do whatever we want. <laughs> We're not afraid of Team Rocket. Saldon City, the city of rainbow dreams. So did we miss anything else over this way? I don't think so. So we're just good to explore more Saldon City, how exciting. Uh, up this way, do we have anything all that much? I don't know. I like the this, the music here though, it's pretty cool. Uh, I did see the Pokeball over this way. This must be something good, right? It's a nugget, yeah, we gotta sell those soon. All of our nuggets and stuff. Okay, so moving back this way, just trying to get a good lay of the land of this uh, city, this town or whatever it is. This way just keeps going and going. Does it ever end? We may never know. Uh, oh, it's another Pokeball, awesome. This one is rare candy, well worth it too. Put the rare candy in the candy jar. So let's move back this way and uh, see what else we have left to tackle. Whoa, 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 weird. This is a building, the entrance of a building. Ooh, what is this place then? I don't know, I'm sort of getting lost in the world. Sort of like it. <laughs> so yeah, Team Rocket is running around somewhere here, doing something or other. Uh, let's go up this way. And, oh, we're on the roof. Okay, what does this say? I know everything. Is this another Fortune Seer? You don't seem like a Fortune Seer. As you can see from all my notes on the board, there's nothing that I don't know. Even, uh, I even know that the whole world can be found from inside your Nintendo Switch. So connect with friends and enjoy trading Pokemon with one another. Oh, so like he knows, he knows everything. As in like he knows the fourth wall breaking. Play rough. I don't know what play rough is, so let's take a look at that. Actually, I think some of our Pokemon and Pokemon Quest have had that move. Uh, TM case, and then play rough. 
It's a fairy type move. The user plays rough with the target and attacks it. This may also lower the attacks that the target's attack set. Not bad, actually. Interesting. Might want to give that to uh, Lily at some point. Okay, so what does the board say? There's a good deal of text. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't. Hold on. What did it say? Link trades and battles. Oh, I don't really want to know about that. So just like game feature stuff, being able to battle with. Uh, other people and being able to trade with them in real life. I don't plan on doing that in this game, so I think we'll be fine. But hey, at least we got a TM out of it. That's pretty cool. So if we enter this building from another way, we might be able to learn more stuff or get other things. I don't really know. But for right now, I'm not too worried about it. We're just gonna go down the stairs and explore more of the other parts of Celadon City and just run into whatever we need whenever we need it, hopefully. Because I'm pretty sure there's a trainer somewhere in the city. So we'll find them and I don't know if we'll battle them today. We got lots going on already, but we'll find out. But it is a weirdly constructed town so far. All the weird buildings and weird places. Trainer tips. Guard spec protects Pokemon from having their stats lowered if you use one in battle. If you're in the market for items, the Celadon department store is your one-stop shop. Gotcha. This is my trusted pal, Polyrath. It evolved from a Polyroll when I used a water stone on it. Cool. Polyrath, whatever, whatever. Cool. Oh, hey, look, it's Brock. Hey, didn't expect to run into you here. How are you doing? I'm on my way back from visiting the Celadon City Gym. Keeping in touch with the, the gym leaders is part of our duties, after all. Cool. The girls at that gym all turned me away for some reason, though. Actually, I have some pewter crunchies. I bought some. I, I bought them as a gift to the gym here. You got some pewter crunchies from Brock. Cool, we already have one of those. It's good to have more. Oh, and you're probably going to want some tea after eating them. Pewter crunchies can make you thirsty. Oh, you got a cup of tea. Make sure we don't use this, because we can give this uh, to the guys. Ah, oh, I don't have enough left to give to that thirsty guard now. Anyway, looks like you've been visiting the gyms in other cities. I wish you the best. Thank you. Brock is so nice. I like how that, that hint was just, you know, go give it to that guy, the guards. Saladin City Condominiums. So let's go into here and see what's going on. I guess people just live here. Oh, is this like the front end of that building? I guess so. Yeah, okay. This little Meowth. Oh, so cute. Hello. Being surrounded by my beloved Pokemon while enjoying some rest and a nice cup of tea. Moments like these mean the most to me. How wonderful. So what is going on in this condominium? Anything interesting? I mean, I guess just people live here <laughs> as sort of the basis of it. What's going on in this area, this floor? Nothing too much over this way. Got two people hanging out. Nobody has a door. I'm having a meeting with an important client. You wanna join in? Uh, was that supposed to be sarcastic? Oh boy. Must be nice working at a company where you don't ever have to wear a suit. Well then, maybe you should try to apply. Okay, so let's get up this way. Yeah, that was weirdly pointless, but okay. Yeah, I don't know why nobody has doors at all. I'm a graphic artist, I'm the, the one who designed you. Oh, oh, we're going back to the breaking the fourth wall. Me, I'm a programmer. Welcome, Pokemon trainer. You probably won't know what I'm talking about, but come back once you've, you've earned a title. Earned a title? Like maybe defeating other gym leaders? I'm the game director. I'm very happy that you're playing this game. Good luck with filling up your Pokedex. If you collect all of the Pokemon, let me know. I wrote the story, hey, tell me. Do you think Erica is cute? I like Missy a lot too. Oh, and Sabrina, I like her too. I don't know who Erica and Sabrina are. But anyways, I guess these are all people who actually worked on the game, which is pretty cool. Let us go up these steps and see what else is going on. Oh, is this, okay, this is the other part of the roof, so we get ourselves three health candies. Pretty cool. So we have a lot of candies at this point. I haven't been using any of them because I sort of want to wait for the right time, right? Especially for like the rare candies or any of the Pokemon specific candies I think also give those Pokemon level ups. I don't want to use those until we're much farther on. Like we're level 30-ish, like that doesn't really matter because like it's just easy to level up Pokemon. But when we get to like level 70, 80, 90, it gets a lot more work to level up Pokemon. That's when it's gonna be worth it to use a rare candy as far as I remember. Okay, so what else have we got going on? Celadon Department Store. You'll be sure to find whatever you need. I sure hope so. Handmade Pokemon accessories. Go take a look on the fifth floor of the department store. Yeah, we'll definitely thoroughly explore the department store. 
My coughing is the best partner ever. It spews out poison gas when it gets angry. But it's usually very sweet, I promise. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I don't know how I'd feel about having a Pokemon just spew spewing poison everywhere. Can I get over to you? Oh, I need to be able to swim to get to you. Oh, I lost it. I lost again at the game corner. I guess people who are so good at, at the games there must be putting in more effort than I do. Rocket Game Corner, a playground for grown-ups and kids alike. Cool. So we'll go in there at some point. I don't know, like if there's mini games in there or something. Trainer tips. X accuracy boosts a Pokemon accuracy. Dire hit boosts the likelihood of critical hits. If you're in the market for items, the Celadon department stores or one stop shop. Okay, cool. Oh, and then we can cut over here and go somewhere else. Let's check this out real fast. Uh, yes, I wanna chop it down. Go Pikachu! Yeah, good job. And what is this about? Oh, just another part of Celadon City. Cool. Oh, hey, another trainer. Oh, shouldn't I be able to reach the gym from here? Uh, looks like she's lost. I'm so sorry, I'll try to help you find your way once I find my own. Okay, so what is this building? Huh, Pokemon, oh no, this is a hotel for people. And we're full up, unfortunately. Oh, I'm sorry. Yippee, I'm on vacation. My sis brought me along, she's the best. That's cute. I came here on vacation with my brother and my boyfriend, just three of us. Isn't Celadon a beautiful city? Indeed. Why, why does she bring her brother along too? Ah, <laughs> it's a little awkward. Okay, let's head out of here. And uh, is there any, I think there's a couple more buildings we can go into. I wanna do the buildings that just probably a basic interaction before we go into the larger buildings. What are you staring at? Get lost, either you leave or I'll make you leave. I'd like to see you try. Uh, we know Kung Fu, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> that game where the Pokemon fly through the sky is a huge hit? Well, I'm positively raking in the cash now. I feel like I'm on cloud nine. Are you a game developer? Pokemon that fly through the sky, what, what game is that? Don't touch the posters at the game corner. There's no secret switches behind any of them. Ooh. Maybe if we offered Pokemon as prizes to the top scores, we could make even more money. Huh? What? I wasn't talking to you, kid. I don't like this Team Rocket. They're, they're, no, they're, they're no good. I'm sure we've all clued in on that part so far. Oh, okay, we already read that one. Should I use Cut to go down this way? A little curious to see where it brings me. Well, we're gonna find out. Come on, Pikachu. Where does this go? Uh, it just, man, the city does, is huge. It, it really does keep going. So this is where the, the uh, gym trainer is. My Jigglypuff has an adamant nature. It's easy to raise its attack stat, but not so easy to raise its special attack. Its double slap is a real slap in the face. Wow, <laughs> cool. And what about you? Haha, <laughs> this gym is great. It's full of strong trainers. Celadon City Pokemon Gym, gym leader Erica, the nature-loving princess. So I'm guessing this is like a grass type, so I'll definitely wanna level up Fred to be a Charizard, if we could, before doing that, that'd be pretty cool. Okay, so um, let's talk to these two. All right, let's go to the restaurant, shall we? Cranma, I'm hungry. Oh, I, I sort of read that one backwards. So I've already been in here, this is the hotel? Oh, no, 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 it's the old guy with the raking in the cash or something, I don't know. But this other door, this is something. It's weird, it doesn't look like a door, it looks like a window, so I didn't think I could go in here. Oh, it's a restaurant. Can I talk to you? Hey, a new face, welcome! This place is always packed with regulars. You're not gonna ask me what I wanna order? All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll eat all the curry they can carry. Yeesh, I played so much at the game corner that my hands are twitching. Games are way too much fun these days. Hey, you, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I heard? Seems there are special, there are, there are several floors hidden below the game corner. Yeah, we are, we're hearing about that as well. My Pokemon are weak, so I often buy medicines at the department store. Well, that'll help, we've, we've had to do that a couple times too. Our Pokemon are strong. Okay, we're, we're getting farther with, with exploring everything. There's just so much to. Celadon City takes pride in its efforts to keep itself clean and beautiful. The area around the game corner is a different story though. It gets a bit rough around there, probably because of all Team Rockets. So let's go to actually the game corner right now. I'm a little curious about it. Sounds like it could be fun. Oh, it was also a little Porygon on the uh, the logo on the top. I like that. This is cool. I like it's like a whole arcade center. I sometimes see suspicious looking people in the in this game corner. 
I wonder what they're up to. Can I play? That'd be so cool if I could play. I know, suspicious people. No, I know. I know. My sweet star, you. It likes to watch people playing games. Oh, that's cool. The game in which Pokemon fly in the sky. It is, it's great, isn't it? If we could fly in real life, that would be much cooler than the game, though. You didn't have to use a megaphone. I'm right next to you. Caves are great for improving your reflexes. Okay. Oh, you're blocking it, aren't you? I'm guarding this poster. Go away or else. Whoa, we're just battling in the arcade. I don't think there's enough room in here. We might destroy a machine. They'll, they'll make us pay for it. Team Rocket Grunt. Okay. So not Raticate. <laughs> okay, I think we can handle Raticate. I might want to put Fred out in front then so that we can level him up. Might switch over to him now. Yeah, it's just like we're in this weird gray space. It's weird. So move on over to Fred, switch. I mean, I hope he levels up or evolves at level 32. He may not, I don't really know. He's looking ready to go though. Super Fang, oh my, ouchies. Ooh, that hurt. We're so close to a level up though, we're about to find out if we if we win this. Ember, Super Fang, no oh, wait, 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 oh gosh, no. You're beating us up too much right now. Get out of here with that. Oh, this does not do much. I need to just heal. I mean, no, 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 wrong thing. Bag and super potion. Actually, do we have a hyper potion? We should. This is, stuff is not organized. Wish there was a way we could like organize it. 120 HP, we don't need that much, but I'm just gonna use it. Hyper potion. And then maybe we'll try the dragon move. Oh, look at all that. HP was restored. Hyper fang again. Oh my. Fight and dragon range. Jeez, he just keeps using the Hyper Fang over and over again. Ooh, that hurt, that's for sure. I don't know if I can survive another Hyper Fang though, so I'm going to not use the Pewter Crunchies, instead just use another Super Potion, and that, that's 60 HP, so that should still get us to uh, about 80. Yeah, it should actually get us up to full, exactly. Yep, yep, oh, we avoided it, perfect. Fight, and then we're just gonna do another Ember. Oh, you're gonna use Crunch this time. Crunch doesn't seem like it's as bad. It's still pretty bad, but not as bad. Ooh, nice. So we got rid of the Raticate. That was a bit of a tough battle. What do you know? 420 experience. Yeah, we're level 32. Will that do it then? We're about to find out. And we defeated the Team Rocket Grunt, right? 420 experience for Lily and no level ups. Team Rocket Grunt defeated. Blast. Well, we got him. Nah, not quite. So it must be level 36 for Charizard. At this rate, the location of the Team Rocket hideout is gonna be discovered. I better tell the boss. Oh boy, whoa, look at this cool poster. I like that. So we'll go into there in a moment. I wanna talk to everybody else. Ha ha ha, I broke my high score. If only every day were like this. I mean, if every day was like this, it'd probably get a little boring. Phew, I'll take a little break. You need to take breaks when playing games. All right, well, what about over this way? Oh, look, it's the guy. Oh, it's Jesse. There, come on, almost got it. Ah, oh, so close. Come on, Jesse, why don't we head to the hideout now? Oh, come on, we've already handed over the Cubone to another Team Rocket member. What's the harm in taking a little break? How are we supposed to open the hidden entrance to the hideout anyway? We just need to check the poster with a, with a vehicle on it, remember? It's a poster with a vehicle that is the best way to re represent us. <laughs> I don't know what that could be. Oh, you have better things to do, champ in the making. Solid City's gym leader is Erica. She is the one with the nature and uses grass type Pokemon. She might look quiet because she does flower arrangements, but she's not one to be taken lightly. Gotcha. Can we talk to you? What do you mean, what kind of vehicle is the best way to represent us? You know, the things that blast off into space? <laughs> That's it, okay. I don't say anything more than that. Well, we already know what it is. Let's talk to you a little bit. We've run out of game coins. Also, please don't touch the walls in the game corner without permission. I'm gonna do it. So I guess he's in Kamuppet with Team Rocket. So let's go ahead and touch the poster with the rocket. Hey, I switched behind the poster. Let's push it. I would love to. Whoa, you hear a loud echo from somewhere on this floor. So now it's open for everybody to see. Wow, wee, that's pretty high tech. I like it. Ooh, Team Rocket hideout. So it looks like we're gonna be going against a bunch of Team Rocket members. I still wanna keep, I mean, I guess maybe I should just keep with whatever I think is gonna be the most effective. I mean, Lila's a little low on health right now, so I might wanna switch over to uh, Eve. 
keep Eve out in front, that might be pretty cool. Okay, Team Rocket members, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know if you do. You snuck into Team Rocket's operation, what nerve. This is like a whole operation down here, wow-wee. I wasn't expecting something high tech like this. Team Rocket Grunt. So now Golbat. Okay, Golbat's actually plenty fine. We should be super effective against that with Eve. So once again, got really lucky with that one. Um, So fight. And... Hmm. I think I'll just do... Uh, we'll just do Thunderbolt. We'll see how Thunderbolt is. It might be enough to take him down. Oh, it is. Plenty enough. I didn't know if it was gonna be too high of a level for a one-hit takedown with something like a Thunderbolt, but it seemed to be plenty fine. 460 experience, that is so much. Boom! I'm very happy with that one. You're not going to get away with this brat. We'll have to see about that. Is this a dead end? Ooh, it is. But we get a Pokeball, five Ultra Balls. Very cool. I like it. So let's keep moving through everything. Uh, because we came down from there and it looks like there is another staircase, but I wanna explore thoroughly. Who are you? How did you get here? Uh, I, I came through the door. Well, I guess we're battling this guy. L I hope they all have Zubats, that would be easy. Or Zubats or Golbats, Coughing. Okay, so Coughing actually, Coughing isn't like defending against poison, or not poison, electricity, I don't think. I don't really remember. Cause is he also park ground? I can't remember at all. I wanna try a floaty fall, but I don't know if it's a good one to use floaty fall against. Let's just try this. Boom. Ooh, not bad actually. Critical hit, you're gonna use sludge. Oh, it's gonna poison me. Oh, I'm so sorry, Eve. Actually, it didn't, look at that. Okay, so let's try thunder out. See if we can't just finish you off with this. They're pretty cool moves, I would hope so. Nice. And you fainted, but you have two more Pokemon, so we have a lot more work ahead of us. 196 experience. And Team Rocket Grunt is about to send out Rattata. I'm gonna keep battling. Because Rattata really shouldn't be that big of a deal. What level is Rattata? 29, very high level for a Rattata. But plenty fine for us just to zippy zap. Okay, we took out Rattata. What do we got going on now? Wait, oh, it's gonna be another Rattata. Okay, we're just gonna keep with what we got then. Let me just try Thunderbolt right out the bat this time, instead of a zippy zap. Like maybe that'll be better? I mean, no, is that what I did last time? I can't even remember. Ooh, he was gonna attack, but he wasn't able to, perfect. Battle's going very well for us so far. Ooh, that is such a powerful move. Immediate fainted. How cool is that? So 148 experience points with that one. And Kobe grew to level 30. Awesome. How oh, we got beat bad. Okay, well, you did indeed. Blast it, you're dissing Team Rocket, aren't you? Well, I mean, you guys are pretty good at dissing yourselves, I mean, really. Oh, look at this Pokeball under the table. You found three mighty candies, cool. And, oh, we can't go this way, the door's closed. So this feels like it might be a bit of a maze, which is pretty daunting when you think about it. Let's go this way and talk to you. Oh, Shh, I'm a beautiful spy on an undercover mission. What's a child like you doing here? I'm here to be, I'm just here for fun. <laughs> You're an interesting child, that's for sure. Let me give you a present so you remember our little encounter here. A Team Rocket set? Ooh, cool. You wear that set and you feel as if as if you are Team Rocket Grunt yourself. Although you're too short to be a real Grunt. They'd figure you, you were, out you were in disguise immediately. Okay. Now don't go telling any, everyone I'm a spy, okay? If you do, I'll have to give you a scolding. Oh no. So she's a spy, I mean, that means we're technically on her side. But let's go ahead and get this Team Rocket gear on. That sounds fun. I really want to see it for Eve. So, Team Rocket cap. And let's do Team Rocket T. This is so ridiculous. Your partner is looking great. And then outfit for Zebra. Team Rocket cap. Now we're really styling. You think the game would disagree with this because we're, the, we're dressing up as the bad guys. I like it though, it's pretty cool actually. I like the idea of being able to dress our characters up this way. I know in uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon you had to buy them. Actually, this is a really cool looking set of gear. Like if you remove the R logos, you, I wouldn't even guess it was Team Rocket. It just looks distinctly cool. All right, awesome. So that's everything we can do on this floor for now. Let's head down the staircase a little bit more and hopefully we can run into some more action like you. I heard that you can see ghosts with the self-scope. I guess you can. 
I don't know where the self-scope is, but thanks for the bit of information. More Team Rocket Grunt. This guy only has one Pokemon, it was Hypno? Okay, Hypno shouldn't be that big of a deal, I don't think. Yellow versus yellow. Uh, and we'll just do Thunder again. That should work just fine. I mean, I probably should save, avoided the attack. Oh, we, okay, everything was avoided there. That was a waste of a Thunder though, so maybe I'll just keep with Zippy Zap, because Thunder has so few uses is the only problem. Ooh, not bad. Critical hit. We're gonna try using Psy Beam, which, oh, how much is that gonna hurt? Not too bad, could have been worse for sure. And then I might just try Thunderbolt and see how that works. It might be enough just to take you down. I would hope so. And it is indeed. Hypno fainted. And that was your only Pokemon, so we should be a-okay. That was a I think that'll be the first time we've ran into Hypno in this game. Level 36! Very cool, good job, Eve. Eve is closing in on level 40 now. How crazy is that? And that's it. I surrender! You better, you don't have any Pokemon left. The Team Rocket Hideout has four underground floors. Think you can reach the boss? I'll be trying. Ooh, what is this about? There's like a whole maze over here. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. whoa, what's happening? Whoa, so if you run, a, walk on one panel, you sort of get flung over. Well then there's, that means I really only have one way to go from here and that's uh, this way. And then I wanna keep going, oh boy. But then if I run back, I should be able to get a Pokeball right here. Found a nugget, very worth it then. Hmm. So I'm gonna go back this way, go back on the yellow little platform, and we got another one. There's so many Pokeballs to get, it's pretty cool. Found an awakening, that'll also be good. And then I'm gonna move this way and grab this one. TM05 rest, cool. So I don't know what's that way, but we can't really find out from here, but I can go this way. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna move on to this one, just to sort of get a better view of everything. Okay, so I think that, oh, now I'm sort of stuck here, though. I mean, I guess I could just go this way. Yeah, that's fine. And then I can go this way. I mean, I guess that's worth it. It's sort of hard to tell. I wanna go th with this one, I think. Oh, there's a Pokeball over that way. Okay, so let's get that one, and I think that's just about everything in this area. At least as far as I can tell. Hmm. Got a PP up? Oh, that'll be good. That'll be for, you know, if we run into any, well actually, that was in the power up pocket? I think that's a permanent thing then. A medicine that slowly raises the maximum PP of a single selected move that has been learned by a Pokemon. That is really cool. I wonder where we can get more of those. Cause that sounds like it could be really nice. Okay, cause so now I gotta go the, like the long way around though, unfortunately. Yeah, I guess just back over to here. Just trying to find my way out now. Cause I think I've gotten everything. Maybe I'm wrong, I'll look around, just try to be careful. Go down this way, got it. Yeah, that's about what I'm looking for. Oh gosh, no, I, I did the wrong one, didn't I? E, I did. Oh, now I have to go around again. Whoopsies. Yeah, I'm supposed to do this top one, end up here, go down this way, and then we have something. I don't know what this is, another staircase. Okay, now things are getting a little confusing. It doesn't appear to work without a key. Okay. Cause wasn't there another staircase? Yeah, there's another staircase downward from over there, but I guess we can explore that part later. Man, oh man, cause now we're going back up. Weird. What, what do you hope to achieve by coming here? Defeat everybody in the building. Every single one of you. That's my goal, that's, that's what I'm trying to achieve. Okay, so Team Rocket Grunt, you are going down. Sending out Voltorb, huh? Not a problem. Well, I mean, we are Pikachu, so maybe this is a bit of an issue because a flying move isn't gonna do too well against you, so honestly, I might actually switch over to Lily. Switch over to Lily, use a ground type, dig, sounds good to me. Okay, it is funny that we're just battling in an office setting. <laughs> oh, we are able to dodge that, awesome, that's very good. So let's fight and dig and burrow underground. There are so many different moves I could use the PP up on. So it is interesting thinking about like what I really like what would be the best thing for it. And where I could get more so I don't have to worry about it as much. I wonder how much more, maybe it's only like one. Even if it was one or two, that would help out a ton for one of the lower ones that only have like ten. Okay, so there we go. Now is your only Pokemon, so you are defeated. This won't do. It will, actually. It'll do just fine. 
Okay, I'll talk. If you want to find the boss, take the elevator. I can't. I don't. I, I just don't have access to it. Uh, you found a hyper potion. Cool. Put that away in the medicine pocket, and then we can battle you. Intruder alert! Yeah, it's you. You intruded on the arcade and built this gigantic thing. So, what is going on with all this? You're gonna send out Ecans, which is another poisonous. Um, it might be worth at some point then bringing out Lily, but I don't know if you're gonna bring out too much of a fight. We'll try Thunder and see what ends up happening. Come on, come on, poison jab, really? Ugh, not what I wanted. So they were able to avoid it, but I don't think because, you know, they're typing, I think it was just bad chance by us. They keep avoiding it. I don't know, I don't have a good feeling about that. I'll try it one more time or something. Maybe I'll, uh, let's just try one more time. There we go, it worked this time. Will it be a one-hit takedown though? I'm, I'm sort of not expecting it to be now. Ooh, but it is! Wow, we. Okay, so Ekans is down. What are you gonna throw out now? Arbok. You know what, let's go ahead and switch Pokemon. I'm gonna switch over to Lily again and hope that everything turns out okay with that. Come on, Pikachu! All right, Lily, hit them with the dig. That should be fun, because ground is good against poison for sure. Whoa, this looks so cool in this game. Arbok is awesome, I love the little designs. Okay, dig under the ground. I mean, we still can get poisoned, but haze. Which, all stats changes were eliminated? I don't know if that really helps or hurts or whatever, but there we go, it's super effective, you're going down. Very cool. You got 455 experience, how awesome is that? I can't do it. Oh well. <laughs> so there we go, there's another Team Rocket member defeated. You're looking for a Cubone, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh yes you do. We get ourselves five Great Balls, that's great. So it looks like that's it in this area. I mean, I guess it was worth doing. We got two trainer battles. We got uh, some great balls. Now we can head out of here. So soon enough, we gotta find an elevator key. If we wanna move any farther throughout all that. I'm just trying to make sure I get a good coverage of everything everywhere. Uh, but this is the like third floor down. It looks like there's a fair amount of ways to travel already. I don't know which way to go first. Well, here's a Pokeball. We found a revive, that'll be good. If we run into any issues down here, we'll be able to use items instead of having to do anything else. I mean, I'm sure we can use an escape rope to get out of here. So there's another puzzle. So let me take on the battles first. Look who finally showed up, huh? We got word from upstairs that you were coming. Oh, they're ready for me now, huh? Might mean there's more of them than ever. So we got another grunt. You only have one Pokemon though. It's Golbat, perfect, because Eve is gonna mop the floor with you. Easy peasy. Okay, so, fight and, I mean, I could just use Thunderbolt. Let's just try Thunderbolt, because my Thunder is all the way down to three out of 10, which is not as good. Ooh, that's it, that's all I need, a one hit takedown. So that is this trainer taken out as well, easy peasy. We're getting a lot of experience at this point, it's awesome. Okay, go wherever you want then, but the elevator won't budge without a lift key. Do you have one? I would take it. <laughs> It'd be funny if this is a lift key. It's TM20, Dark Pulse. Ooh, what is that? I wanna check that out. Uh, so, bag and TM case. Dark Pulse is, of course, a dark type move. The user releases a horrible aura imbued with dark thoughts. This may also make the target flinch. That might be also good again to use eventually with Lily. And I can't do anything with this, like, Pokeball thing. I guess not. And uh, that only leaves the uh, puzzle room to figure out. Okay, so I'll go through this as much as I can. There's a Pokeball right there, and there's another Pokeball on the other side. Let me grab this one for now. X speed, cool. Getting a whole bunch of uh, X things recently. And then yeah, this one's fine to go through because I'll be able to get another Pokeball. And then I might have to go the long way around. We get a rare candy, very worth it though, because there's another staircase we can reach. We just have to go around here, and we're good. Is this how everybody on Team Rocket travels all the time? Gotta be honest, this commute doesn't sound very fun. It's like, ah, oh, gotta go to the third floor, see you in an hour, ooh, I'm dizzy. 
Okay, that seems to be good. Yeah, I figured everything out. I guess maybe, maybe we could figure something out so we didn't have to go against a trainer, but I'm fine with it. Stop meddling around in Team Rocket's affairs or else. Or else what? I guess we're about to find out as we go against another Grunt. Okay, so this guy has two Pokemon and he is starting with Rattata, which is fine to keep out Eve then. I, you know what? I mean, flying isn't any more effective against normal than electric is, as far as I understand. I mean, I guess it, w it would be not as good because of the like the same type attack bonus. We'll try it. I, I just really want to see Floaty fall. <laughs> oh, so cute! Wee! Oh my gosh! That went from really cute to really intense. That was crazy. I love it. <laughs> okay, 148 experience and uh, level 36 for Lily. How awesome! Voltorb, I definitely want to change Pokemon, we'll change the Lily, what do you know? How oh, perfect. Switch, and uh, let's get to it. Run, Eve, run! Okay, so. That is a Voltorb indeed. And we're just gonna immediately dig. All right, Lily, use dig, find its way underground. And Thundershock's not gonna do anything. So we will easily be able to get rid of Voltorb here. One hit takedown, guaranteed. So I feel like really giving Dig it to Lily has been one of our best decisions yet. It really has balanced out our team in such a good way. And I think that's what's really powerful about having you, I guess, is just being able to teach TMs to her however and whenever we want to. And it just makes it super effective. Looking for a Cubone, eh? Huh? I just saw one of our four grunts come by with one, huh? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Are you actually trying to help or are you just trying to confuse us? I have no clue. Anyways, what's going on with this one? Got another staircase down. Ooh, now we seem to be like at the base level. You found a PP up. Oh, here's another one. Very cool. And what about this? Hyper Potion. Cool stuff as well. And then, uh, oh, he has a Pokeball on that table. Let me try to distract him. <laughs> Watch that, you say the elevator doesn't work? Of course not, I've been keeping the lift key safe this whole time. Ooh, so he has the lift key. Well then we gotta take him down. You're challenged by Team Rocket Grunt. So now Grimer, ooh. Another poison type, we haven't really seen too much Grimer in this game, pretty cool. He might be a ground poison. Should we try to find out? Or should we just try Floaty Fall? Let's just try Floaty Fall again. It's just too much fun. Look at Pikachu, so whoop. And now she goes! Oh, not too much. Used Harden. I mean, it did a good chunk of damage, but not as much as I would like it to. We're just gonna do it again, though, because it, it worked fine once, it should work fine a second time. Because used Harden, though. I don't know if that's gonna help you that much. <laughs> I love that so much. Okay. So, with that done, we can hopefully get ourselves a uh, elevator key. No! Okay, so what do you have to say about that, buddy? Gah, now how am I supposed to keep you from taking the lift key? Guess I'll have to use my own kind of struggle. What? No, no, wait, come back. And he's gone. Wait, where, where, I hope my bosses don't hear about this. He threw it up there? Oh, oh, is that the boss over there? I think so. Ha, ha, phew. Without that key, there's no way you'll make it to the boss. I mean, I see the boss right over there. If you think you can get back up from uh, back from here, then I'd sure like to see you try, ha ha ha. Oh, what a jerk. So there has to be a way up there then. Weird. Uh, there's a note on the wall with a warning scrawled on it. Please don't let any Pokemon in the air vents. They climb atop the walls and wreak havoc. If there were a step stool or something, maybe it would be possible to reach the top from here. Huh? Oh. Look around to see if you can find something you could climb up on. Like these boxes? The cardboard box is too heavy, you can't lift it. What about this trash bin? No, inside is, there's nothing inside. <laughs> hmm, the cardboard boxes are too heavy. This is definitely gonna be, it's a solid box holding a fire extinguisher, but it's too heavy for you to move. Huh, oh, here we go. There's no way you're getting that lift key now. Not unless you know some way to walk on top of the walls or something like that happen. The Pokemon of yours looks pretty nimble, I gotta say. I know, I know, but I gotta find something to pick up. Maybe the chair. But, I don't know, you shouldn't stand on swivel chairs. You might get hurt. 
We'll try it. <laughs> the chair could probably be used as a step. Okay, we're doing that. Okay, never mind. Be careful. If you swivel, you might get hurt. Okay, Pikachu, good luck. Don't fall up there, don't get stuck. Ah, <laughs> now's the time for your partner to, to shine. Get that key from Team Rocket Grunt, the Team Rocket Grunt through. Oh, can we control Pikachu? Oh, we get to control Pikachu, how cool is this? Is there anything this way? Ooh, where did that Cubone come from, boss? Ah. Two of my underlings decided to bring it here without my permission. The Skullin said it's very beautiful. We should be able to sell it for a good price once it becomes a Marowak. Oh no. I don't like these guys one bit. That's definitely the boss. Oh, what are you doing? Are you breaking it open? You are, cool. Look at Pikachu go, it's so adorable. Oh, and our trainer, uh, yeah, ourselves, are, we're just watching. Wait, what do I do here? Uh, oh, you're going across, look at you go. Very cool. <laughs> so here we go, here it is. You, you've got the lift key. Awesome. Huh? Did you hear something just now? I did. There was definitely a noise. Could it be an intruder? Uh-oh. Oh, Meowth can sniff us. Never mind. It must have just been Meowth's hungry tubby. Don't get me all worried over nothing. Oh, pure Meowth. Poor Meowth. The boss's Persian is so elegant. And that fake out move it uses. It always makes an opponent flinch in battle. It's strong and cool. Oh, okay. Gotta be careful of that. So can we hop back down? I think we can. So we gotta find a way through the elevator and take on the boss then. Eve came back to you, you got the lift key from Eve. It looks like that guy, he just left. He didn't wanna get in trouble with the boss. And there's nothing else around here. Looks like it to me. Okay, so let's get back up the staircase and try to find the elevator then. It's not here. Oh, wait, yeah, we've already talked to you. Never mind. And everything else in this room or this floor should be completed unless there's another staircase down, which it doesn't look like there is. So I'm gonna go back up here. We gotta go back through the, yeah, this maze. And somewhere around all of this, there should be the elevator down. So there's lots to deal with, that's for sure. Uh, so I'm gonna go this way. Oh, that was the wrong one. No, no, that was fine, that was fine. Well, sort of. Yeah, I gotta do this one. And then, this one, I think. That seemed to work. And then the top one. Yeah, I do remember this. Okay, it's making sense. Don't worry. Because this is the only elevator entrance. I don't think there's any other elevators, so. B1F or B4F. Let's try B1F. We'll just try, try that one first and then we'll try going deeper down. Oh, here, okay, gotcha. Are you lost, little child? No, but if you wanna battle, I'll battle. Okay, so we're going against probably the last Team Rocket Grunt, unless there's more on B4F. Oh, Zubat, easy peasy. It's gonna be super simple, just use our Thunderbolt. All right, Pikachu, use Thunderbolt. Eve, you got it. And boom, nice, that was super easy. Okay, so Zubat's gonna faint. And 142 experience, not bad. Ghastly, ooh, you know what? No, 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 I keep battling. I'm, I always get it so mixed up. I always think the battle, bottom one's gonna be changed Pokemon and the top one's gonna keep be keep battling. I'm gonna go ahead and do Thunder and then I'm probably just gonna go and repunish our Pokemon but, ow, before we actually fight the boss because we're on the top floor anyways. We might as well, right? I think if that opens the door at the least. Okay, so the Ghastly fainted, super duper easy. So let's go heal up our Pokemon and then we'll go deal with the boss or something like that. Uh, why? Got an $800 for winning. Oh yeah, it did open, cool. Uh-oh, that ruckus somehow opened the door. Okay, that's all you have to say. Okay, so yeah, I'll be right back and then we'll take on whatever's on the fourth floor. Okay, so we're gonna go back into the elevator and go to B4F, because we started at B2F, so we should be fine with just B4F and hopefully we can take on the boss. That'd be pretty cool. But is there anybody else to take on? In the meantime, there's a Pokeball. That's awesome. Let's grab it. And it's an elixir. Awesome stuff. I'm hoping that there isn't too much of an issue. We might have to take on Jesse and James here, but we're about to find out. Oh my, you, you're that twerp from Mount Moon. Just how long are you going to follow us around? I know I'm beautiful, but what do you want? 
to rescue Cubone to join Team Rocket. No, well, we're gonna rescue Cubone. What? That Cubone? Ha, we already gave that poor thing to the boss. It doesn't matter. There's no way we're letting you get through to see the boss. It's payback time for those fossils from Mount Moon, you brat. We'll see about that. We're going against Jesse and James. Oh my. You're challenged by Team Rocket, Jesse and James. Again. Send out Arbok and Weezin. Ooh, okay. So we sent out even Tonka, not Lily though. Interesting, okay. That's fine, we should be able to make something work here. Uh, Eve, I want you to just go ahead and do Thunder. That's not something that hits both players. It would be cool if it did. And then Zippy Zap. I can't, I can Zippy Zap. Why would I want to Zippy Zap Tonka? Why would I want to do that? That'd be awful. We're just gonna do Thunderbolt and we'll do it against Arbok. I think it'll be fine. And then I would really like you to just switch over to uh, Lily. I think that'd make this whole battle easier. I don't know if they have any other Pokemon beyond this. No, they both only have one. So it should be fine. Okay, come on, Lily. I know you can do it. Okay, so Eve. They avoided the attack. Use Poison Jab. Might have to go back and heal again. Ooh, that hurt too. Use Sludge. Don't use it on Eve, you're gonna use it on Eve. Yeesh, okay. Fight, and then Thunder, once again, try to use it on Arbok. And then you use Dig on Coughing, or Wheezing, or whichever, it's Wheezing, okay. Why do you keep avoiding it? I don't know. Arbok's really good at avoiding things. So use Glare, Lily avoided the attack, and you're gonna use Toxic on Eve again? Oh, that's gonna poison you, but it should be okay. Hopefully. Lily was badly poisoned, aye, aye, aye. Bad experiences with this back at Lavender Town. Okay, so let's one more time try Thunderbolt on you. Come on, come on. Or Thunder, not Thunderbolt. It worked this time, which is awesome. And ooh, not enough to take you out though. Come on, Lily, I need you to land the dig. Oh, and you're paralyzed, which is awesome. Boom, and that might be, it's almost a one hit takedown. Oh gosh, Arbok is paralyzed, very good. But the wheezing, use Sludge again on Eve or on Lily, on Lily. That's good, because Lily has a lot more health. But the bad poisoning is not gonna make it more helpful. Okay, so at this point, we need to just make sure that we like use Zippy Zap or something on Arbok, and then you should probably use Dig again on you. Come on, come on. That should work just fine and should be able to get rid of the Arbok. Because, you know, they can still attack in Paralysis, it's just the chances are lowered. Okay. 502 experience for both of us, that's very good. And you're gonna Dig. Come on now, this should work. And then I gotta heal these guys up before we take on the boss. You're gonna use Sludge. Oh, hold on tight, Eve. Oh no, that's really close. It looks like it might cry. Poor Eve. Okay, fight, and then just do Zippy Zap. Maybe that'll be enough that we don't have to worry about it. Come on, come on. Oh, oh man, but not enough. It wasn't very effective, I'm sure. Come on, dig. That got it, perfect. Probably should've just used Float. Float Fly or whatever it is. Okay, so we got rid of both of them. It just took a lot of work. Lots of experience for the both of us. Conquer to level 32! Yeah, your party in Pokemon and waiting. Okay, cool. Got that extra experience. Such a dreadful twerp. But I was so confident this time. $3,000 for winning that one. How cool. <laughs> How infuriating. Don't let it go to your head just because your Pokemon were a teeny tiny bit stronger. Exactly. And even if you did defeat us in battle, we're still bigger and stronger than you. We'll just use brute force to... No, you're not. Pikachu's gonna protect us. Ah! Looks like Team Rock is blasting off again. <laughs> see ya. All right, so that was awesome. Oh, let's see what Eve has to say. Eve looks completely exasperated. I do too. I do too. Okay, so let us go ahead and um, real fast try to heal everybody up. So let's go to our bag and go to our Pokemon, not our Pokemon box, wrong thing, we have so many rides, I just saw it for a moment. We need to go ahead and do, we could do, we could do the Pewter Crunchies. They can be used to heal all status conditions of a single Pokemon. I mean, I don't know if I need that too much. We could just focus on uh, Super Potions and then do another one and then do another one on Lily. No, no, I know. And then we just need to uh, give you a, what is it called? Antidote, we got a couple, we can use one. 
on Lily. Very cool. And I honestly feel like Team Rocket leader boss is gonna also have a, a lot of poison types, so it might be worth it to switch Lily out in front. Okay, let's give it a shot and see what ends up happening. Here he is, it's the big bad boss. Oh no, yeah, there's this also, this guy, <laughs> I forgot. Just one look at this Sylphscope and it's plain to see, Sylphco definitely has a technology and skill Team Rocket will need to make our wishes come true. <laughs> a machine that lets you see what, the, what otherwise cannot be seen. It's nothing but a useless toy. Still, yes, this could do. Carry on, Archer, with your plans to take over Sylphco for Team Rocket. Yes, sir. Oh my. Oh, hello. What is a child doing here? You listened in on our conversation about saying, without saying a word? I don't much care for that. I am Archer, an admin of Team Rocket. And I do not go easy on children. Well, that's weird. Uh, let's go for it then. We're, we're, we're taking on, what was it, Archer? You were challenged by Team Rocket admin, Archer. It looks very devilish. He sent out wheezing. See how it was good to bring out Lily. And then after this, do we take on the boss? I really don't know at this point. It's pretty crazy. Uh, but we'll give it a shot and see what ends up happening. Fight and dig. We're gonna dig way underground. And I, I prefer the one versus one battles, to be honest with you. Dark Pulse isn't gonna work. So we should just be able to uh, do our dig move. And maybe even a one hit takedown, not quite. These Pokemon are a lot higher level. That's it, I know you can do it. You're gonna Dark Pulse again. Will that poison us? Not quite, so we should be fine. Super effective though. So that must be a dark move, which is good on psychic types. So we're just gonna burrow in the ground again before you can do any other type of similar move. And we should be able to take you out with this one. Come on, boom. Yes, and hopefully we get good experience so that we can get more level ups, that'd be good. Hmm. 566 experience, that's good. And send out Golbat. I will definitely switch my Pokemon and we're just gonna switch back over to Eve. And hope this turns out pretty well. Come on back, Lily. Go on, Eve, I know you can do it. So I know we've been using a lot of Eve and Lily recently, but they're just sort of the, the best used scenarios. I mean, when we go against the Dim Tree leader, we'll be doing a lot of uh, Fred with the fire type, so. You know, if you're looking for that, stay tuned, it's gonna happen. We're just gonna go ahead and use Thunder here, just in case we need the extra damage. Because it's level 33, a little bit higher level than Pokemon that we're used to dealing with. We're used to like 25 to 30. Super effective, very awesome. And this Golbat's going down because of it. Okay, so 523 experience, that's level 37 for Eve. How crazy is that? We're really making some crazy progress now. And uh, Fred go to level 33 as well. Awesome. Fire spin, we definitely want you to learn whatever that is. Forget an old move. And let's see fire spin. The target becomes trapped within a fierce vortex of fire that rages for, uh, for four to five turns. Oh, that's not too bad. I think we'll go ahead and put that over fury swipes. One, two, and ta-da! Fred forgot fury swipes and Fred learned fire spin. Pretty cool. Charles grew to level 34. Awesome. You beat Team Rocket, Admin Archer. What a blunder. $3,300 for winning, cool. Forgive me, Giovanni, for me to be defeated by a simple child. Uh, what's happening now? F forgive me, Giovanni, for me to, oh yeah, you just said that. You know what, before we talk to him, we should probably heal up again. <laughs> um. Let's go to our medicine pocket. And I mean, really all that has to happen. We, we did fine in that battle, didn't we? We just gotta use a little bit on Lily. Thought that we had gotten poison at some point, but I guess I didn't. We destroyed him, wow. So now it's uh, the boss. So, you defeated Archer. I must say, I'm impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. And I am the leader of this enterprise, Giovanni. Oh no, Cubone doesn't like that. What, you wanted me to release the Cubone? Mama! <laughs> you came bringing in, or barging into our hideout just for that. What an amusing child. But for your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. 
Oh no, so we're going against a big bad boss, Giovanni himself. He rules all of Team Rocket, which honestly doesn't sound too threatening at this point. <laughs> because we've defeated every Team Rocket member we've run into. He sent out Persian, which uh, we sort of heard uh, Jesse and James murmuring about, so that's a little concerning. But I think we'll be able to handle it no problem. I mean, Persian, apparently their thing never misses. Yeah, their fake out always makes us flinch, so we need to be able to do a move that can attack before that. Which I don't know if this will ever do that, so we just have to wait for them to either, you know, like, do something that isn't, you know, fake out, which is what they did there. So let's see if this dig does some good damage. I mean, it's only level th 36, level 35. Boom. Hey, not bad, actually. I'll take it. Let's try that again. We're gonna use dig. Use slash. Okay, if they're not gonna use fake out, then this is gonna become really easy. It was a critical hit, but it's not that big of a deal. Come on, come on, come on. Might be enough to take him out. It doesn't look like it was quite half the damage. Yeah, we were able to avoid that without a problem. Ooh, not quite like a critical or anything. Let's just try Swift then, because I don't know what we're going against after this. You're gonna use Slash, I'll use Swift, it should be fine. Yeah, that would have been a lot more threatening if you just constantly did Fake Out over and over again. I would be like permanently stuck to getting damage to you. 539 experience, and other Pokemon got some experience as well. Send out Rhyhorn. Uh, I'll switch for now. We'll keep Lily as like a secret weapon. I will move over to Kobe, where we could hopefully uh, do, what's it called? We could maybe just do, so hopefully we can do, I think it's Seismic Toss, that's based off the weight of the Pokemon. No, that's the user's level of Seismic Toss. So I think we'll do Low Kick. The heavier the target, the greater moves power. I think this might actually be good. Let's try it, boom. Ooh, that is super good. No, not Drill Run, oh no. Is Drill Run what I'm afraid of? It almost was. I think there was another Drill type move. Crazy stuff. Just do another low kick though, and that should be the end of Rhyhorn. Super effective, Rhyhorn defeated, and that means that Giovanni is as well. 241 experience, is gonna be level 31 for Kobe. Thank you, Kobe, for being awesome. I like it. Oh, and you get a little extra for speed. 765 is your CP. All right, we've defeated Team Rocket Boss Giovanni. What? This can't be. $5,600 for winning, that's a lot of money. He's very well off. So I too am defeated by a child. Do as you wish with that Cubone. Ah, and take this as my apology for mocking you as a child. Oh, and it's a self scope. All right, well, sort of true to his word. I mean, I mean, I guess he never said that he would do these things. It was very nice that he did them. For being an evil, you know, crime leader, he's not so bad. I can see you raise Pokemon with the utmost care but you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I mean, you can always just tell me. But I hope we will meet a meet in battle again. Wow. So what's gonna happen with this place? Is this gonna sell it? <laughs> I'm off! All right, Cubone. Cubone headed back to Lavender Town. <laughs> How wonderful. Maybe with the Sylph Scope, you'll be able to find a, out the identity of that ghost. Maybe we will. Cubone seems to have gone home on its own. Why don't you get out of here too and try to figure out how to use that self scope or something? Uh, don't tell me what to do. I already beat you. <laughs> Can we look at this? Cool little photos of uh, Rhyhorn and Persian. I guess it, it does tell you what, what the other Pokemon would be. I just didn't see that before. And uh, some weird schematics we can't really read. All right, so we did it. We defeated the big boss Giovanni and totally cleared this place out. There isn't anything left to do around here. How awesome is that? So while we could go back to Lavender Town, that is not something we're gonna be doing today. Or next episode, most likely. Next episode, we're gonna go and uh, defeat the gym leader. So that'll be a lot of awesome stuff going on. But man, quite an episode today. Lots of stuff going on with it all. But I'm just gonna go up the staircase, and we should be good to go. I do want to take an extra look around Celadon City to make sure there wasn't anything else we really missed. But I don't think there was. I mean, you should be in jail for harboring a, a criminal thing. But I don't know. I guess not. I mean, the criminals would also be in jail, but we're sort of letting them slide by with that too. I don't know, the, the jurisdiction in Pokemon world doesn't seem to be very strong. Oh, you're new. Oh, you're curious, aren't you? You're curious about me and this machine. Do you want to know the details? Yes. 
Okay, if you insist, this machine is a great vehicle that allows you to fly in the sky. It's a marvelous invention, if I do say so myself. It's not an exaggeration to say that this is a secret technique. Even though I worked really hard on this, nobody wants to try it. You seem to be a courageous young boy. I'll tell you how to ride this machine, the secret technique Skydash. Oh, that Pikachu wants to fly my invention instead of you? Great, it matches my inspiration perfectly. All right, let's get right to it. Ooh, are we gonna learn fly already? Do, do this, and then that. Hold this handle, and pull. Then, that will be like that. And with these balloons, you're in the air. Wow, okay. Eve learned the secret te technique at Sky Dash. Very cool. Use the sec secret technique Sky Dash, and you can fly to a town you've been to. See, select play with Eve in the main menu, and then select secret techniques. Very cool. You can have this machine, so be sure to enjoy many trips through through the sky. Wow, we are you enjoying Sky Dash? What kind of machine shall I make next? Uh, something that makes me win the game or prints free money or something. I don't know. So I still can't get across to that guy. I gotta remember to do that at some point. But yeah, that was a ton of fun. We went through and showed Team Rocket who was boss. I'm gonna go and heal our Pokemon, and then we will uh. Be done for today's episode. Next episode, we'll explore the remainder of Celadon City, and then lastly, take on the gym leader. That'll be cool as well. But for now, let's heal up Pikachu and anybody else who might need some healing. Honestly, we did fine. I think everybody shouldn't need that much healing. Can't wait to evolve Tonka and Fred. I don't know when that's gonna happen, but hopefully within the next couple of levels, we can get that done as well. Fred's gonna get a lot of use next episode as we take on the uh, grass gym leader, but for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Giovanni Zebra, so you've watched at the end, if you're a Zebra-tastic viewer, check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.